right, we're checking out the only game that makes me want to control, delete all the pain I get from GTA. It's GTA. So as usual, I tried to all F4 my higher brain function by going into my email, and I saw an email I've been waiting for for quite some time. It was from my accountant, Janine, who at this point is probably very, very sorry that she ever took me as a client. She says, I hope you had a great weekend. Since our last correspondence, we received an unusually high number of transactional notations, including GTA makes me happy, GTA makes me want to all F4, make the bad man stop, and Danny keeps evolving. Can you confirm these are business transactions? Also, we don't see a Danny on any of the personnel files. Have a great day. So since she probably thinks I'm just screwing with her, I decided to reply and write a response that says, hey Janine, I want to play a game. And so it's back to Fiverr to find people who hate my sanity to make five different jigsaw-like escape room trap boards in the $1 to $1,000 range. Let's do this. Welcome to the $1 board. I appreciate that I just loaded into the, what does that say? You need to escape, what? <laughs> you need to escape out from the cell. Okay, I load into the game and I'm already in prison. I love that this is the character type that I portray. Oh, hey, there's like a it's like a bathroom door over here. Wait, is this like a... <laughs> of course, I knocked myself out hitting the door at full speed. Is this like a WWE cage match where I have to murder everyone and when I'm the only person left, I'm allowed to leave? I feel so bad, but I don't have a choice. You must all die so that I may live. I'm not gonna lie. I I'm gonna feel really bad if I murder, oh, I got a weapon. Hey, I'm gonna feel really bad if I murder everyone in here and it still doesn't let me out. All this does is just show that in order to complete any sort of problem, the first thing I go to is homicide. All right, if you would all just kind of like stand, like get, get in a line if you would. Yeah, single file, just like that, perfect. You know, like when you would get lunch in high school, just do that. It's a home run. Ugh. Oh, hold on, I gotta. Oh! Okay! I think I understand how to get out of here. I know, it's like, great. why are you killing everyone if you know how to get... <laughs> I just broke the fencing of the jail with a human body! And onto the $10 board! So, Alex, who is typically my $1,000 or $500 board creator, has begun to train Danny. And Danny says that now he knows how to use teleportation devices. So I have to teleport all around the room in order to get, oh. Okay, I was gonna say, I have to teleport all around the room in order to get out. I figured I had to go over there, but I guess not. Uh... Danny, I feel like you put a lot more effort into this $10 board than you needed to. Yeah, anytime you see a way to get up high, that's usually, sp what was that? Let's just get, let's just get shot. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. There we go. Okay, so if you pick the wrong one, it just brings you back to the beginning. So there has to be one teleport that is legitimately the right one. I love that this blood stain is just going to get larger and larger. I was just like, oh, there's two teleports down there too? I mean, he would make it the farthest one, right? Like that makes sense. You're not gonna make it one of the closer ones. So let me try this one. Yeah, oh yeah. That worked out really good. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, oh, well, at least it teleported me closer to where I need to be. Okay, so we've got teleporter right by the rapids and of course gray misses. Oh, there's a teleporter under the water. All right, we'll try that one a little bit later. Let's, well, that did nothing. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, hee hee. I'm running out of options. I hate my life. Ah! Okay, so I had originally mentioned, oh, what the? All that did was bring me to a place where I could die. Oh, here we go. Eh, what? Seriously? Okay, so you get pushed away by the current, so you can't even get that teleporter going back against the waterfall. So you legit have to fall just right and then sweep it. Let this happen. Let this happen. Just let it happen. I can't go any further over to the right. There we go! <laughs> Will you let Danny me build a $50 board next time? Yes, I promise no. <laughs> so, I mean, technically only one of these is the right answer. All right. I just want to see what's over in the no, okay? <laughs> it brings you all the way back. Yeah, a one time, boom. <laughs> All right, and if the comments say so too, Danny will give you a $50 bar. And yeah, oh, okay. I was afraid you were gonna, 
You're gonna lie to me. Head on to the $100 board. This board is called, I'm going to break your sanity. Supposedly inside of this giant breakable square, there's like a million different hidden Easter eggs and I need to use it to find the way out. Why is there just a random oil pump here? All right, let's get started. Uh, yay, whiplash. Okay, sit. Aha! See? Look at this, right here. I can't get up there. Do I have to like use the oil pump to ramp the car or something? No cookies. Here, go away. <laughs> I want my cookies. Oh, uh, ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. And by piece of candy, I mean a shotgun. This is what we call Floridian candy. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, yeah. Yeah! What is that? What is it, giving birth to a car? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> okay, this is gonna make my job unbelievably easier. Okay, so what I decided to do, uh-huh, see, I was gonna say, I decided to climb up on this thing because there's no other reason for it to be here. I figured there would be something all the way at the very top and look at what we got. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Oh, what? What is this? Was it just a troll? Are you kidding me? All right, your board is uh, very, very satanic. Okay, how about underneath this? I'm running out of ideas. Aha, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and kill myself with splinters and that's not a way out either. Okay, watch this, I have an idea. So normally there would be, hold on, no way to get to the ceiling, but the pump goes, <laughs> of course, but the pump goes up and down. So, there's nothing here? Are you serious? I could have sworn that would be something there. Oh, there is. Oh, thank you, God. All right, right here. I'm at the highest point I can get to and jump. Yeah. All right, how about this door for once? All right. Onto the five hundred dollar board. So I don't know how to describe this. Um, it says that you have to find eleven invisible platforms in order to complete. Oh, there's one. In order to complete the challenge. <laughs> Otherwise, you just burn alive. We've got Gelato, the armless snowman, over here. So he gives you snowballs and yeet. Aha! It's like uh. It's like urinating in the snow, see? Leaves a little trail here that we can follow. Uh, here? Yeah. I'm really hoping that the creator, he put a jump there. Look at how far this is. I was gonna hope that he doesn't build like traps that move in this board that are also invisible. That would be sick. I see there's signs here too in the background. I feel like they clearly don't make any sense. I'm assuming they're just lying. Okay, so it's like a huge jump down. So yeet, perfect. Uh. I hate my life. I just got back to this guy. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like vacationing in Florida. I mean, that's pretty much what it feels like down here. He pretty much always puts a gap in between large platforms just to make you hate your life. I have to jump on this somehow. Now, if he was really- <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyway, what I was gonna say is if he really hates me, he would put an invisible wall, like at head height, right next to this moving platform. This way I would finally get on it, it would just like knock me off. Yeet. What? What was that? Is there an invisible wind turbine? You put invisible wind turbines in here, didn't you? You make me sad. Oh, that was, that was unusually easy that time. So finding where I'm supposed to, Oh no! So finding where I'm supposed to go each time is just agony. I can see the end. Also, that volcano better not set me on fire randomly while I'm doing this. I will flip my computer desk. How far away? No, it is a moving platform. It's an invisible moving platform. Are you kidding me? Okay, it's kind of wide at least. Okay, it's really wide. Ah! Oh. Oh, 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 oh God, oh God. Jump, climb. Perfect. There it is. As a Floridian, I'm fireproof. Well, I hope I'm fireproof. Oh God. I'm going to approach this the same way I approach all my problems, by closing my eyes and pretending they don't exist. Yeet! I am Floridian, I am fireproof. I can't believe that worked just because I believed it. $500 board complete. Okay, so this is the $1,000 board by Alex. All I have to do is get to the teleporter that's right in front of me, but is that? 
Is that just a random shark floating in the air? <laughs> just a hammerhead, just chilling out. Wait, am I under the water? What, what kind of M. Night Shyamalan twist is this? I'm standing on solid ground and now I'm in the water. Okay, not really sure how you program the game to do that, but that's fine. Alex like literally built Atlantis. There's an entire floating islands and stuff under here. I don't know, do I have to get like eaten by the shark or something? Oh, there's a car over there. Okay, so there's an entire area up here. Okay, so there's a box, wall, that's the entrance. Random water that just appears out of nowhere. Alex, you are really overestimating my IQ. I feel like I have to swim up and then somehow get inside of that tube. All right, is there water over here? Yes. Ah, a windmill. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I've got an idea. Go up to the top. The water should disappear. Nice, okay, land on solid ground. And then I have to fall. I thought I could just fall into that tube. Look, Alex, <laughs> normal pit, like for me, IQ doesn't mean what you think it means, okay? For, for me, it's like idiot quantified. That was like a ramp over here. If I was in a Saw movie and Jigsaw was like, you know, you have two minutes, make a choice. I'd be like, bro, just kill me. I'm not gonna make it. Sometimes I think about something that he would say, Oh, I can't even jump and hit it. In order to make me feel bad and make it seem like I'm supposed to be in the trap, he'd be like, Great spent your days toiling away in GTA. I know, that's why I can pretty much take any torch you throw at me. I have an idea. If we go up high enough, okay. Okay, I can I can almost fall on that platform. Faster, 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 faster. Perfect, okay. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Okay, so this is a timed platform hop into a car. So get running, get running, get running. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> and now, jump. And whoa! No! Disappears, run, jump, and oh! Man, you don't give me a lot of time, do you? Uh, right or left? I don't know. I mean, it looks both of them kind of connect, so does it really matter? Uh, left betrayed me! Okay, well, I guess we're going to the right. Oh, yeah, I got the timing now. Oh, you can do this all in one shot eventually. Look at this. And onto <laughs> whatever this thing is. Like my eight-year-old niece's power wheels all blinged out and bejeweled. Yeet. Ah, yes, this can drive in the water too. All right, yeet us my way upward. And now I can go back to that one platform that I was breaking my skull on over and over again. I, can, I think I can jump it with this. I'm slowly putting the pieces together. This is a long fall. Ah, ah. I don't have to worry about any future grays now. All right, off the edge, into the water, then we have to go up, get on this side of the board. Green. Okay, what does green mean? Okay, I finally figured out what I'm supposed to do. So the green wall, what this is, watch. You line up, you jump, and you pray, and there, look, there's a green thing right there. Green means go and pain, but mostly go. Where did this bring me? Uh... Oh, okay. So the ramp is right on the other side of this and we can jump this into the ramp and go inside the cube and then probably get blended up by the fruit ninja over there. Fantastic. Big jump, this is totally gonna work. Big jump, totally gonna work. Big jump! Yes! <gasps> oh, 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 wait, no! That's okay, I can still make this, but it would've been awesome if I did it in one try. And a nice smooth yeet, perfect. Okay, so get off this, I guess. Swim down the toilet over here to flush myself. A little opening. I'm getting some Subnautica vibes over here. Why is there always a windmill? I'm sure it'll be fine. But it's not fine! Ow. Oh, I made it. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. Oh, and you fall out finally over by the end. And we, oh, yeah, have a winner. Well, I flexed my brain muscles and I regret that more than any other choice I've ever done in my life. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Till the next time, stay foxy, much love.